Good eye, friends, and welcome to another episode of Measurement in the Wild. As you can see, I'm joined by my jungle friends, and today we're going on an adventure, a measuring adventure. Now, you've got to be careful when you're in the wild, because you never know what could just sneak up on you. So we've got to be quick about it, friends. Mr. Math gave me a phone call and he let me know that everyone was learning some new math measurement words. We learned words about size, like bigger and smaller. We learned words about length, like longer and shorter. And we learned words about height, like taller and shorter. So today, friends, we're going to be using our math words to measure in the wild. I'm going to be using a new tool today, friends, my handy dandy five stick measuring tool. It's very important, very dangerous, so you have to be very careful. Count with me to make sure I have five cubes in my measuring stick. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five. That was a close one, mates. Thanks for double checking that for me. I'm going to use my five stick measuring tool to measure in the wild. Say it with me. We are going to measure in the wild. Are you ready, Billy? I'm ready. Let's. Get it to it. You have to be very careful in the wild, like I said. Be very quiet. I think I hear some footsteps coming up. The first thing we're going to measure in the wild is... <gasps> Spider-Man, what are you doing in the wild? Saving people, that's what you do. I wonder, friends, how we can compare our Spider-Man visitor with our five stick. Watch me as I compare and measure. Now they have to start at the same starting point because we are comparing the end points. Hmm, so they're starting together. I noticed, my friends, that the Spider-Man is bigger than my five stick measuring tool. Would you agree? Yeah, you saw that too. I would say, friends, that my five stick measuring tool is shorter than Spider-Man. What do you think, Spider-Man? That's what I thought. And lastly, if we tip it to the side, because remember, when we measure length, it has to be horizontal. When we hold it to the side, friends, we can see that Spider-Man is longer than our five stick measuring tool. That was really close, Spider-Man. I don't know if we can measure something else. I hear more animals coming our way and I'm not sure if we're gonna get out safe. Here is my question for you. What special wild guest did we measure today in math on Measure in the wild. Your answer is Spider-Man. <gasps> oh no, friends. I hear it. It's coming. We got to get out of here. Quick, take your measuring tool and go measure some things in the wild so you can talk about it in math. Come back tomorrow when we'll be on another adventure. <laughs>